16 times 10 to the 9th, factor out 0.032, what's left? ln of uh, 0.032. See here I'm doing it, instead of just calculating each one, I'm just putting each one, inverting them, adding them, then I'm just going to calculate way at the end, you know. So C tote. Now invert this again. And then what I do is this one to the power of negative one. That's the quickest way. Okay. So let's calculate this now. Let's see which one's bigger. Ln of three divided by 6.7 plus ln of 8 divided by 3 divided by 10.5 equals 0.25. So this thing came out 0.25. Raise it to the power of negative 1. times 0 0.032, 6.91 picofarads. Ooh, it looks pretty close. Which one, what was the other one? 7.15. The other ones, they just simply added this one they, uh, they uh, got the final answer is less than either one, so they, uh, they, their reciprocals added. But this one was the full length of the capacitor, so it was a bigger capacitor. They were, they were both sharing the full length of the cylinder. So even though the final answer was less than either one, the total, total final answer came out uh, close to the final answer of the uh, other problem. Okay, good. So that's one kind of situation. It's a situation where you're given a certain capacitor. You might be seeing something like that in your homework or test as well. So I could give you a spherical capacitor. Part of it is full with one, and then part of it is full with another. Spherical capacitor. Now with spherical, it would be hard to do this side. Uh, it would be hard to do uh, a parallel uh, because you can't really have two half of a sphere, you know. So I don't think I could give you a sphere that is parallel. I can give you a sphere that's a, a, a series. But I could give you a parallel plate. Here's a good one. Here's a good test problem. Right? Kappa 1, Kappa 2, Kappa 3. So two capacitors in series, and then those two are in parallel with the first one. OK? <clears throat> Okay, how about let's look at one...